Yo, welcome back, or welcome to a new day, or welcome to a new episode. I don't know where I'm at right now. If you've been watching, still, thanks for tuning in. Anyway, it's a new day. Let me show you what I did yesterday because you knew the flywheel looked like crap. So I spent some time and resurfaced it. So we have a pretty good clean surface I haven't touched with my oils from my fingers on yet so that's done but before I slap that be on oh yeah we also got the pilot bearing in but first let's get to some bullshit so I ran into a I ran into a situation with I can't get the pilot bearing out so I'm gonna show you the redneck way now by redneck I don't mean to offend anybody but the stereotypes are there so you know be what it is that's what it is hopefully it works on how to get the pilot bearing out of the back of your crankshaft when you take off your transmission so here we go we got that right we can't get it out there's nothing you can do i've tried to wedge this in um pull it no nope, not gonna happen so let's use hydrodynamics i'm sorry i was trying to impress you <laughs> I don't know what it means. I'll be honest, I don't think anyone knows what it means anymore. Scholars maintain that the translation was lost hundreds of years ago. We're gonna put these wet pieces of paper and stuff these in the hole. As guys, it's always worth stuffing stuff in holes. Just get some paper, get it wet, throw it in there. So after it's soaking wet, you're gonna bang it and smack it with your clutch alignment tool. Oh yeah. She's in, she's flush. Flush! Here it is. All right, so we got the old one out and I'll clean it up in a little bit. So let's get the new bearing in and uh, get that to chill. Anyway, so here's the clutch kit. We have a new throttle bearing, new pressure plate, and a new M5 clutch. So we have that. We have all this, all these goodies. So we need to put this brake booster on. And then got some other goodies and stuff in here we have to do. But now I need to find the flywheel. The pressure. Yeah, flywheel. Oh, well. I ah, found it. It was on my desk, though, my table. Um, yeah, I'm gonna clean this off and see what we look like and scuff it up. Well, all right, we're back. So, a um, couple things happened. It was really hot, so I didn't get any work done during the day. So now it's nighttime. Have some lights on and get some stuff knocked out. Do work. <laughs> so let me show you the aftermath of the clean and painted transmission. Was she shiny? Super clean all the way through. And on top of that, we added the Einhorn Industries pivot pin back there. We also have a set of their, uh, these other pieces here. So we have the motor mounts on, we have the engine all cleaned up. Everything's looking mighty fine and clean. Another Matty Matt banger. Anyway, so on top of that, clean and polished in here a little more. And sprayed. Get Some ready for another, another so Maddie, Maddie, Maddie. So I'm gonna pull that Maddie, engine off there. Let me show you. Resurface the flywheel. You can see. Look at all that. Another Put cross ash pattern. Did it with sandpaper by hand. Took the glaze off. Sprayed down before uh, I'm finished with some uh, carb cleaner. The rest of the engine looks super clean. Let's see, you like that. Everything's pretty tidy and polished. Got the new brake booster line on right here. 
This bad boy. That one there. So, have the throw out bearing in, have the clutch fork. Should probably get the master cylinder bolted in and then uh, get the transmission bolted on. So here we go, let's do some work tonight. And if you like what you see, please make sure you like, subscribe, leave me a comment. If you see I'm doing something wrong or you have a suggestion or you have a question, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Sorry this series is taking so long to come out, but kind of dealing with a bunch of stuff with uh, parts and car sales. So anyway, here we go. Gosh darn it, man. I am struggling. You, man. Up, against Up against me, me you're, you're, gonna, you're lose. gonna lose.